It's Armageddon time. Researchers have developed a zero-day exploit kit which can completely destroy your antivirus program and even turn it into malware. No, this is not clickbait. This actually happened. The vulnerability, I believe, was published by Cybellum, although it has been disputed by a Microsoft researcher who claims to have figured out something similar first, but I'm not gonna get into that, we're gonna talk about how this actually works. First of all, you might be familiar with Verifier.exe or Microsoft's verification tool. You might have noticed it running on your system. However, it seems there is a vulnerability that is 15 years old that allows an attacker to replace the verifier with a custom version. And once they can do that, they can actually entirely change the behavior of an application, make it do different things, and guess what? They have demonstrated this with a lot of popular antivirus applications. But wait, my antivirus can't be compromised. It's like one of the biggest ones out there. Well, if your antivirus is on this list, then it has been compromised. Avast, AVG, Avira, Bitdefender, Trend Micro, Komodo, ESET, F-Secure, Kaspersky, Malwarebytes, McAfee, Panda, Quickie, Lorden. That's a lot. I'm really happy not to have seen GData and MCSoft on this list, and a few others, but a lot of major companies, as you can see, have been compromised. So, how bad is it? What can this exploit actually do? Turns out it can convert your antivirus into the threat itself, turn it into ransomware, encrypt files, destroy files, launch DDoS attacks, pretty much any nightmarish thing you can think of. Also, because your antivirus is a trusted application, the cybercriminal now has very high-level privileges on your system, meaning they can access anything, start up very easily, and the application will be difficult to remove. They're calling this demonstration threat double agent and is about to load up a VM, try to find a sample and show you guys how it works, but it turns out they've got all that covered. So they've actually released the source code on GitHub, a move which a lot of people would consider unwise. I'm looking at it myself right now, and you can too if you want to. And this means that it's open now to anyone who might not have figured this out. So cyber criminals can just take this code, modify it, and create their own customized threats. At first I was a little bit shocked about the release, cause this could potentially put a lot of users at risk, but then I figured out that they had actually disclosed this vulnerability to the antivirus companies for like 90 days before they actually made the official announcement. And so far, very few of these companies have actually come up with patches to fix this issue, meaning a lot of these products are currently still vulnerable to this kind of attack. They have even made a full video demonstration of it. As you can see, once you build this file, you do get a 64-bit and 32-bit version of the actual double agent executable. And then you can execute it with the command of repair, install, uninstall, whatever, and then the target process.exe. And here we can see what happens when you do that. For this demonstration, they have used Norden. And as soon as it executes, you can see it has totally demolished this product. Even the UI has been replaced with these nice messages saying you've been hacked, malware, ransomware, spyware, destruction, all of this incoming. Quite impressive and quite scary at the same time. Now Cybellum have made this point over here that blindly trusting your antivirus program can not only be ineffective against zero-day attacks, but can also make you more susceptible to threats that would take advantage of your antivirus program to gain higher level access to your system. That is a strong argument indeed. And based on the evidence and response that we've seen, I'm not going to deny it. I will go through this in detail, and if I come up with anything exciting, I'll probably make a follow-up video to this. But it seems most of my work has been done already, in terms of doing video demonstrations and that kind of thing by the researchers themselves. But for now, I really wanted to break this news because it is really interesting, and I feel everyone should know about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. This is Leo from the PC Security Channel. Thank you for watching, and as always, 
stay informed, stay secure.